And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody. I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you're whole, you're healthy in this time, in, in the lockdown that everybody has to obey. Uh, I think most of you are uh, at home, so this is a good time to be together. Welcome everybody, thank you for joining in. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button. God bless you. God bless your families. Today is a good day guys to expose this liar, Mr. Adnan Rashid, who claims to be a Muslim apologist. And he's going to be my topic of today guys. I hope my sound is loud and clear guys. I hope my sound is loud and clear. Give me one if you can think that my sound is good. Give me one please to confirm. All right, thank you for the confirmation. Before we start, actually guys, before we start, show you that this guy is nothing but a liar. And why? Because David Wood made a video and he challenged the whole Muslim community. If you can show us one ayah in the Quran, just one ayah in the Quran where it says that the gospel is corrupted, then David would have taken his shahada. Maybe if you have watched his live show, uh, Muslims Failed, you know, they sent him all kind of videos uh, like this Adnan Rashid video you know Adnan Rashid <laughs> took up the challenge and he actually failed and today we're going to play that video of Adnan Rashid and show you what kind of liar he is and how he failed to provide one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted so unfortunately <laughs> for the Muslims David Wood did not take his shahada and I challenged the Muslims too, and I'm still waiting. I mean, give us one ayah where it says in the Quran that the gospel is corrupted. One crystal clear ayah. There is no ayah to be found in the whole Quran. So before we start, guys, please, I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior. Glory to his name, Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Dear Lord, Please bless our beloved audience and subscribers. Lord, thank you for your grace. And we believe that Jesus truly is risen. And yes, he is risen indeed. al Masih qam, haqqan qam. That's what we say in the Arabic. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. Thank you. Also, for my lovely audience and subscribers who always kept us supporting us day in, day out for the last year. Please bless them and their loved ones. Keep, us all, of, keep all of us healthy and safe, Lord, especially from the spread of the coronavirus, I mean the coronavirus. Fathers, and us in your arms. Help us not to lean on, your, on our own understanding, but of everything acknowledge you lord so that you can direct our words thoughts and actions give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to discouragement any taqiyya any lies any doubt any mecca lord from the muslims please help us honor you in all our ways lord i pray to you and ask you to also shine your light on all of us including the muslims who might curse us day in day out especially shine your holy light 
on the Muslims who are truly seeking for the truth, for the sincere ones, Lord. Please open their eyes so they can also be saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame, Lord. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. As we mentioned today, as we mentioned on this live show, we'll have the opportunity to show you how Muslim apologists lie, like this Adnan Rashid. We're going to show you that they are actually liars, nothing but liars, and how they deceive their Muslim audience. On top of that, anything Muhammad said in his yellow pages, i.e. the Quran, will be used against the Prophet of Islam in the court of law. So I hope Allah is awakened from his sleep and will be the personal lifeguard, the personal attorney of Muhammad to, during today's hearing to defend his prophet in the court of law. I'm not sure if we're going to open up Skype today, guys, because I'm going to need to focus to the video that we're going to play for you. So we'll see, uh, maybe we'll open up Skype after I'm done exposing this liar that you see on the screen. All right, so if you want to call, guys, let us see if we're going to do that when we start the live Q&A, okay? So bear with me. I cannot receive calls while I'm showing you how this liar here is doing tap dancing, doing taqiyya and receive calls at the same time. So we have to wait, all right? You, if you want to call me, you have to wait. We'll see what, what's going to happen after. So let us start, guys. Let us start. Welcome, everybody. The people who just joined, GRM, Higher Odeon, David Rai, welcome. Devil Chaser, Galan, AEZ. I think you're a Muslim. You also welcome. Salam al Masih, Miss Piggy, RK, Shelly, Natalie Bla, Maxwell, Constance, Constantia. I like your name. Peter the Wall. All of you, guys, there are many of you. Bear with me. I cannot uh, say hello to everybody or mention your name, but. Anyway, welcome. God bless to the 100 people watching. God bless you and God bless your family. As we know, guys, as you see here in front of you, in chapter 3, Surat Ali Amran, chapter 3, Surat Ali Amran, in Ayah 3, it says, It is he who has sent down the book, the Quran, to you, Muhammad, with truth, confirming what came before it. What is that? That's the Gospel, the Torah and the Zabur, especially the Gospel and the Torah. So, and if we go to the Arabic, starting to attack our live stream. Guys, let me know if you're still with me, please. If you cannot hear me, maybe you need to refresh. Let me type it in the text. Refresh, guys, refresh. Uh, I had a hiccup. Okay, yeah, Islam. Uh, are, do we have any Muslims, guys? I hope we have Muslims. We'll uh, see how we're going to expose Adnan Rashid. Okay. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadehi. So confirming what is between his hands. So actually, I tried to find a, a very close translation, and it, none of them actually says that confirming what is between his hands. So that's not what the Arabic says. Musaddiqan lima. What is between Baina Yadehi, between his hands? Right? Musaddiqan Lima Baina. So Muhammad <laughs> had the gospel and the Torah in his hands. Right? Do you see it? So Muhammad had access to these books and it was confirmed. Nothing is corrupted, right? It's confirmed. The Quran is confirming. The books that are between the hands. So what corruption are you talking about, Muslims? 
What corruption do you Muslims talk about while Muhammad had access to the Torah and the Injil? How are you confirming something that is corrupted? It doesn't make sense, right? So this is a false translation. Actually, all the translations that you see here are false. Show me one translation that says confirming what is between his hands. Where does it say that? You know, Muslims, when they translate, they have to do all kind of taqiyya, all kind of mental gymnastics. No, RC, it doesn't say that, RC. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does say that. Musaddiqan, confirming lima, what is between, bayna, lima bayna, yadayhi, what is between his hands. Right? So Muhammad had access to the Torah and the Gospel. When was the gospel corrupted? When got the Torah corrupted? Allahu oh, Akbar. <laughs> Think we had uh, some nasty Jews and Christians who went through all the countries, especially around the Mediterranean Sea. The Christians went to Iraq, they went to Syria, they went to Turkey, they went uh, to all the countries. They even went to, to the Romans. <laughs> the Romans themselves started to corrupt their, the, the book in the time or maybe after the death of Muhammad. I think these, these Christians were you know, powerful, man. I think they had access to a time travel machine, right? And they went through time and space to corrupt their own scriptures, right? <laughs> and if we go to chapter 5, ayah 47, it says, And let the people of the gospel, who are the people of the gospel, guys? Anyone? Who are the people of the gospel? Can you help me out here, guys? Who are, I'm asking to our audience in the live chat, who are the people of the gospel? Those are the Jews and the Christians, right? Oh, sorry, my, my, my mistake. Those are the Christians because it's talking about the gospel, right? It's talking about the gospel, so it's talking about the Christians. Okay, so and let the Christians, i.e. the people of the gospel, judge by what Allah has revealed therein. So we have, according to this ayah, we, the Christians, the people of the gospel, have to judge what is revealed inside the gospel. And whoever does not judge, so and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed in the gospel, then it is those who are deviantly disobedient. So guys, 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 think with me here. If I was a Muslim and I would have read it like what I, how I ex just explained it, that means if a Christian does not judge by the gospel, he is a false Christian. You are a fake Christian and you are especially disobedient. You are a kafir, right? You are a disbeliever. You are a disobedient one. So you must judge as a Christian by the gospel. But wait, wait, Muslims, Muslims. If we Christians are commanded to judge by what the gospel say, then we have to reject Islam. We have to reject Muhammad. And we have the conclusion that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. Why? Because the gospel that is confirmed in, the, in between the hands of Muhammad, right? as we showed in the last ayah, the gospel that is uncorrupted contradicts the teaching of Islam. Because you Muslims believe that Jesus did not die on the cross. right? But the gospel says Jesus did die on the cross and he resurrected on the third day. Wow! Do you see the huge, huge dilemma, the huge disaster that Muhammad created in the Quran, guys? Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Here we have a huge disaster for any Muslim who actually reads his Quran. How, how are the Christians commanded to judge by the gospel, but the gospel is completely contradicting the Quran? and Muhammad's teaching, right? Muslims, you really need to think here. You really need to think here, right? And if we go to chapter 10, Surah Yunus, chapter 10, ayah 94, it says, So, if thou art in doubt regarding what we have sent down to thee, this is talking to Muhammad, 
So Muhammad, if you are in doubt, if you are in doubt, ask those who recite the book before thee. Oh, 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 oh. So Muhammad, if he's in doubt, he should go to the Jews and the Christians. Because the Jews and the Christians have knowledge of the uncorrupted, confirmed Torah and Gospel. Right? So Muhammad must go to the Jews and the Christians if he's in doubt. Muslims, are you, are you paying attention Muslims? Pay attention, focus, Abdul, stop smoking hashish, focus. According to the Quran, and it's in front of you, if Muhammad is in doubt, this is talking to Muhammad, if thou are in doubt regarding what we have sent down to thee, which is the Quran, if you are in doubt, ask the Jews and the Christians who recite the Torah and the Gospel before you. The truth has come to thee from thy Lord. So you have to, if Muhammad is in doubt, he has to go to the Jews and the Christians. But wait, are you saying, Allah, Allah, are you saying, are you commanding Muhammad, if he's in doubt, to go to the people of the scripture who have corrupted scripture? That doesn't make sense. So here again, this proves actually that the Jews and the Christians had scripture that was never corrupted. And according to the Quran, Allah is saying, no one can change his words. Read. Did you catch it? No one can change the words of Allah. So how do you Muslims claim after 1400 years that the Torah and the Gospel are corrupted? Please tell me. Please enlighten me, Muslims. Please enlighten me. Enlighten me, Muslims. I really challenge you to show me how you had how you got the knowledge how you how you understood from all these eyes that we are providing on the screen how did you, how did you make the conclusion that the torah and the injil are corrupt especially the injil because that's the topic of today the, the the challenge that we did for the muslims right david wood said if you can show me one ayah that says that the gospel is corrupted i will take my shahada that's what he said right so how, 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 how dare you to say that the, that the previous scriptures are corrupted? Where? Where does the Quran say that? Actually the Quran contradicts what you say over and over. Right? We have to judge. We have to judge by the gospel as Christians. How are we going to judge by the gospel if it's corrupted? And where does it say that, that it's corrupted? Show me one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted, Muslims. Give me one ayah. Do we have any Muslims in the live chat? Give me one ayah where it says in the Quran that the gospel is corrupted. Show me, Mr. Muhammad Muhammad. Show me one ayah. I'm challenging you to show me one ayah where it says in the Quran that the gospel is corrupted. I mean, come on, you can, I, will, I will take my shahada too, not only, not only David Wood. Abdul, again, you Muslims have claimed for the last 1400 years, the Torah and the Gospel, the Injil, are corrupted. Show us one ayah from your Quran where it says that. No answer. Speaking from cave, Hira, Hira, Hira. Where does it say, say, say in the Quran, Quran, that the gospel is corrupted, corrupted, corrupted? From the Quran, please. No answer. Mayday, mayday. Hassan Ali is saying chapter 3, ayah 89. Okay, let us go there. Guys, let us go to chapter 3. Ayah, what was it again? Ayah 89. Okay. This is chapter 3, Surah Ali Amran, Ayah 89. Abdul, I think you, you smoked too much hashish. Where does it say that? Let us read this ayah. 
Chapter 3, Ayah 89. Except those who repented thereafter and reformed themselves, then indeed Allah is oft forgiven, most merciful. I think Abdul, Mr. Uh, what, who's the guy who, who, who gave, gave us this ayah? Hassan Ali. Hassan Ali, stop smoking hashish. Lay down the pipe, son. Lay down the pipe. Idiot. Donkey. Anyway, guys, let us now play the video. Let us play the video. Since the Muslims are tap dancing and lying in the chat, let us play the video of Adnan Rashid, this guy that you see here. And let us spank him. Everything he says will be used against him and against his prophet in the court of law. Let us start the video, guys. That I hereby vow that I will record myself bowing down and reciting the Shahada. In this video, we will show you that David Wood wouldn't accept Islam even though it is true. What will okay, show us the ayah. Show us the ayah. A recent video made by David Wood, and you will see what it is. Rashad, Mr. Mr. Adnan Rashid, give us the video, ayah. I'm going to ask a question, not a confusing question, a simple question. Yeah, yeah. And no Muslim on the planet, not the least, not the greatest, will be able to answer it. In fact, I'm so confident that no Muslim will be able to answer my easy, straightforward question that I hereby vow that I will record myself bowing down and reciting the Shahada if a single Muslim can answer it. Exactly. Once our Muslim friends realize why they can't answer my simple question, they're on their way out of Islam. If you've had a discussion with a Muslim, you've probably heard the Muslim ask, where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me, in those words? Muslims were trained by Zakir Naik and Ahmed Didat to ask this question. Now, putting aside Zakir Naik and Sheikh Ahmed Didat, the question is valid. It is a core doctrine of the Christians. The Christians have this core doctrine that Jesus is God. Isn't isn't it a fair question to ask where is that statement in the Bible if it is a core doctrine of Christians? It's like asking the Muslims, where is God one in the Quran? Where is he declared as one in the Quran? Isn't that a fair question when you have a core doctrine? Okay, guys, did you catch what he said? Let me scroll back that that small part. Let me go back. Isn't that a fair question when you have a core doctrine? then it must be clearly stated no. More recently, Zakir Naik and Co. Wait. Asking the Muslims, where is God one in the Quran? Where is... Yeah, so guys, where is God? Where is Allah? Did you hear it? Where is Allah one in the Quran? Let me go a little bit back. Core doctrine of Christians. It's like asking the Muslims, where is God one in the Quran? Okay, where provide us the ayah. Where in the Quran it says that Allah is one? Muslims often go to chapter 1, sorry, chapter 112, chapter 112, ayah 1, right? Chapter 112, ayah 1. When we ask the Muslims, show us one ayah where it says that Allah is one. Here in chapter 112, Surah Al-Ikhlas, ayah 1. This is a really funny translation, let me switch it up, guys. It says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أحد. That's what they say to us. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أحد. Say, Allah is one. That's what they said. But the Quran in Arabic doesn't say that, brother. It says, say, هُوَ He is Allah, one of. أحد means one of. Where does it say one? Since you, since you are... <laughs> Actually, asking the Christians to show you that Jesus said, I am God or worship me. Where does Allah in the Quran say, I am one? Muslims have to do all kind of mental gymnastics. A lie in the translation. Do you see it? It says here in the translation, it says he is God the one. No, it doesn't say that. It says, Qul, say he is one of. Allah is one of. And to actually show that to you, let me copy this word, Ahad. Right? If you put it here, I already put it there, but let me put it again. 
and we do a search if we scroll down and look for these words here is for example this word right let me make it bigger so you can see it here this is the same word right ahad ahad right here it says ahadin minhum do you see it one of them Whenever you say you see ahad in the Arabic in the Quran, it, and we want to show you examples, we always get one of one of them. Do you see it? Again, the same word ahad min rusulihi, one of his messengers. One of always one of one of one of. Always one of. Ahad minhum. One of them. Again. So how, how did you come to the conclusion, Muslims, that in chapter 112, Surah Al-Ikhlas, which, which is the chapter to go to, that they want to show us that Allah is one. It is always one of. So Allah is one of what? Allah is one of many gods. Allah is one of many uh, pimps. Allah is uh, one of uh, donkeys. What is, what is Allah? What is Allah he's trying to say? Right? So whenever you see Ahad, it does not mean one because the word one in Arabic is Wahid. 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 So how, how, did, how did it become Allah? Ahad. Why didn't Allah say, I am wah Wahid? Hmm? So Muslims, Muslims, you want to pl play those games? You are failing at your own games. So Mr. Adnan Rashid, you're an idiot. Anyway. Anyway, let us go back to the video, guys. Let us go back to the video. Let me play the video Where once more. Where is it declared as one in the Quran? And we continue from Isn't there. that a fair question? When you have a core document, yeah, fair question. it must be clearly stated no. More recently, Zakir Naik and A <laughs> fair question, but your Quran fails. Say, show me one unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I am God or worship me. By the way, it wasn't Zakir Naik who trained Muslims to ask that question. It was the Quran. In chapter 5 of the Quran, verse 116, God teaches us to ask this question. In fact, we are told that there will be a dialogue on the Day of Judgment when God will ask this question from Jesus himself. Did you tell people to worship you beside me? Did you tell people to worship you and your mother beside me? Adan, Adan Rashid, Adan Rashid. Guys, are you, are you catching what he's, what he's doing, what he's saying? He's actually showing us, he's helping us and prove to us, he's showing us that Allah is not all-knowing. Allah needs to ask Jesus, Oh Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, take me and my mother as deities beside Allah? Actually, Adnan Rashid, let me, let me salute you. <laughs> clap, clap for Adnan Rashid for providing an ayah to show us that Allah is not all-knowing, Allah needs to ask Jesus, Isa, there's nothing called Jesus in the Quran, Allah needs to ask Isa, the son of Mary, did you, did you say to the people, Allah, don't you know, don't you know what, what has been said or not? You idiot, Allah, you idiot Allah, don't you know that Isa didn't do that? <laughs> and on top of that, it says, take me and my mother as these th deities besides Allah. Question. Question Muslims. According to Christianity, who is the triune God? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Why is Allah not all-knowing, adding his mother Mary in the mix, and where, why did he leave out the Holy Spirit? Allah, clearly you are not all-knowing. You don't know, I mean Muhammad, we know it's Muhammad fabricating ayahs. Allah and his prophet do not know what the Christians actually believe. Right? Those are the basic 
things in Christianity. Every Christian must know that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one. Right? But here, Allah and His Prophet are failing, adding Mary, the mother of Jesus, into, into the mix, and removing the Holy Spirit. What, what have you done with the Holy Spirit, Muslims? Where is the Holy Spirit and why are you adding Mary to the triune God? So here, Mr. Adnan Rashid is helping us, showing us that Allah is all knowing, not knowing. And he's showing us that Muhammad is a fake prophet because he was fabricating ayahs, showing that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. Because if Muhammad was truly a prophet, a true prophet, he should have known what the Christians actually believe. So we have here two disasters, two disasters in this ayah. Allah needs to ask Isa, because Allah is not all-knowing, He needs to ask Isa, have you said to the people, take me and my mother's deities besides Allah? Don't you know what happened? Allah? But we know there's nothing called Allah. It's always Muhammad in his yellow pages. And again, Muhammad, i.e. Allah, failing to understand who the three persons in the triune Godhead are. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Where is the Holy Spirit? And why are you adding Mary? Let us continue and see what this donkey has to say more. This Adnan Rashid is idiot. Because Catholics are worshipping Mary. They're praying to Mary. No, they don't. They don't worship Mary. When I ask, guys, if I am a Christian, let's say I'm a Catholic. I'm not a Catholic, but let's say I'm a Catholic. If we go... And see what the Catholics are saying. They are saying, Oh Mary, please pray for us. Pray for us. There's nothing wrong with that. What? I can ask, let's see who is in the chat. I can ask Natalie Bla. I can ask Ye Yeshua Princess. I can ask Michiel van der Vlies. Please pray with me. Nothing wrong with it. That does not mean I am worshipping them. I'm not worshipping Michel de Vries. I'm not worshipping Jen Lee. I'm not worshipping Av Ramit or Natalie Bla. When I'm asking them, please pray for me. Nothing wrong with it. You liar, you deceiver. Show me one verse in the, in, sorry, in the gospel. Show me one verse in the gospel where it says that Mary is God. You liar. And Catholics have the same gospel of any denomination in Christianity. You liar! Shame on you. Look what he's saying, guys. To worship you and your mother beside me because Catholics are yeah. worshiping Mary. They're praying to Mary. No, you are a liar like your prophet in, as stated in chapter 5, ayah 116. You are a liar. Catholics don't worship Mary. You filthy deceiver. You are deceiving your audience. Shame on you. Shame on you, Mr. Adnan Rashid. But we know you Muslim apologists truly have no shame, no honor, and no dignity. This is why you are lying about the Catholics. See, we have RG Nation, guys. We have RG Nation in the chat. Let me copy what he's saying. Thank you for the donations, Mr. Sean Guide. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. God bless your families. Let me copy our Catholic brother here. Read what he's saying. He says, Rob Christian, I am Catholic and we don't, we do not worship Mary. We don't worship Mary. So we have a Catholic who is contradicting, who is refuting Adra Nashid. Adna Rashid, you're a liar. We have a Catholic in the chat. He clearly says he does not worship Mary. You liar. Shame on you. Shame on you. Again, Catholics do not worship Mary, you liar. Let me continue. Which amounts to worship, of course. And the uh, Christians at large are praying to Jesus Christ. They are worshipping Jesus Christ. So this question was actually taught to us by God Almighty. Yeah. So Allah, Allah and your prophet lied in chapter 5, ayah 116. Thank you. Thank you for telling us that you and your Allah and prophet are liars. Thank you. Himself in the Quran. Show me one unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I am God or worship me. Notice, Zakir Naik and co. demand that the statement be unequivocal. 
meaning unambiguous, not open to interpretation. Because it is your core doctrine. It has to be unequivocal. If it is a core doctrine, it must be clearly stated. At least God can do that much. Well, your God failed, as we showed you. Your God failed in chapter 112, ayah 1. Allah said, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allah is one of, and we showed you, one of. Ahad is always, when you're using Ahad in the Arabic, it always means one of. Ahad minhum. Ahad al awlad, one of the children. Ahad al awlad. Do you hear it? Ahad al awlad, one of the children. So Ahad, the word Ahad, means one of. So Allah is one of what? Allah. Why are you not finishing the sentence? <laughs> hmm? So, Mr. Adnan Rashid, you're an idiot. You, sir, are an idiot. Let me continue the video. If Jesus meant to be God, or if he wanted to be God, or at if least he be, was consistent. God, be consistent. Be he consistent. Should, should have said one statement. He should have made one statement that I am God. Jesus has the time to curse the Pharisees. He had the time to curse the tree. He had the time to have a dialogue with the Samaritan woman in the Gospel of John chapter 4, verse 21 onwards. He had all that time, but didn't have the time to tell the Christians of the world, I am God. They demand. Yes, he said it. He said over and over. All right. Even God the Father, guys, even God the Father says, he is my beloved son. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. We have the demons who, who, who call Jesus the son of God. Right? When Jesus, guys, when Jesus was brought in front of the high priest, the high priest asked him, who are you? Right? He said, I am the one who will be on the clouds of heaven, coming in the clouds of heaven. And <laughs> the priest tore up his clothes because he said, blasphemy. Why the Jews did understand what Jesus meant? And you Muslims have no idea. Right? You Muslims have no idea. Jesus claimed divinity over deity over and over. Over and over Jesus claimed. But you Muslims are nothing but liars and deceivers. Right, Adnan Rashid? Jesus did not come and sh to show his muscles, right? Hey, I'm God. You have to worship me. No, he, Jesus came because he had a mission. He came to die, right? On the cross for our sins. And the Bible is clear. He came to serve mankind, right? God does not need to repeat himself over and over because God in the Old Testament already claimed that he's God. Our God is not a tape recorder who needs to repeat every second, I'm God, worship me, I'm God, worship me. He already did that in the Old Testament. Idiot. You're an idiot. Face it. Let us continue. They know that no matter what Jesus said, they can always reinterpret it. Now David will talk about the Muslim concept of interpretation. He will go on for five minutes talking about how Muslims can... Abdul, Abdul, the challenge. Listen, guys, how many minutes are we playing already? Three minutes and 43 seconds. The challenge of David Wood, guys, again, let me remind you. Guys, are you with me? Give me one if you are with me, please. Uh, AZ, AZ. Lanat Allah alayna? Why, AZ? Why are you cursing us? Guys, he's saying, may the curse of, on Allah, may the curse of Allah be upon all of you. We have a Muslim, Mr. A A Z or whatever his name is. You, you are an idiot. Let me let me send you back to your prophet. Let me send you back to your prophet. You filthy, disgusting creature. Why are you asking Allah to curse us? Spanking you. Spanking your Muslim apologist hurts, right? This is why you want to curse us, right? This is why you're asking Allah to curse us. Well, my friend, thank you for the cursing because my 
Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said, if they curse you, you are blessed. So the more you curse us, the more we are getting blessings. We will be blessed the more you persecute us, the more you curse us, the more we are blessed. You know, Muslims have no shame. Carry on, carry on. Muslims have no shame. They have to curse Jews and Christians. Uh, Sunnis curse Shia. Shia curse Sunni. It's, it's nothing but a religion of cursing. Cursing party. Like the Prophet of Islam. Whenever he woke up, he used to curse such and such, such and such, according to the Hadith. L.A. Seri, thank you for your donation. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for your support through donation. And again, let me remind you guys, let me remind you, the challenge was provide one ayah from the Quran where it says, in the Quran, where it says that the gospel is corrupted. Till now, Rashad, Mr. Adnan Rashid, Mr. Adnan Rashid that you see here, this liar and deceiver, till now he did not provide an ayah. Give us an ayah! Get away from the difficult meanings. That's not the case because our interpretation of the Quran is very, very limited to the Prophet and his close companions. It is the Prophet and his close companions who took the Quran directly from the Prophet can interpret the Quran. We cannot interpret the Quran at will. We do not have the, that authority. Our theologians, our scholars, our ulama, our imams cannot do but that. But you are doing it, Adnan Rashid. You are doing it because the Quran does not say you are a liar. Guys, did you hear what he said? We cannot interpret the Quran. Yes, you are doing that. You are a liar. Shame on you. Because your Quran, nowhere, nowhere does your Quran say that the gospel is corrupted. But you Muslims dare to say every time we debate you about the gospel, you say that the gospel is corrupted. Yes, you are adding words to the Quran. Yes, you are interpreting the Quran. You liar. Did you see? Did you hear what he said? He said only the prophet and the sahaba the companions of the prophet can interpret the, the quran but you are interpreting you are claiming that the that the gospel is corrupted show us where it says that why are you adding your own words to the quran mr adnan rashid and we are still waiting show us an ayah clear crystal clear ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted Go ahead. They do Show not us. have the authority to interpret the Quran at will. However, on the other hand, the Christian theologians, clergy, priests, and bishops have been doing it for centuries. For centuries, Christians have interpreted the Bible as they went along. Every time they faced a difficult question, they would interpret, reinterpret, reinterpret the reinterpretation and reinterpret the reinterpretation. Hypocrite. Of the reinterpretation. Hypocrite. This you're a hypocrite. You are, doing you are Quran, doing for the Quran. Uh, 2,000 years old. That's what you've right? been doing so for the we Quran. Do that with the Quran. Yes, Thank you me. are. Yes, you can and you are. You are doing it because you're adding your own words. You Muslims have claimed for the last 1400 years the gospel and the Torah are corrupted. We are asking you. You are saying it because, so that means there is, must be an ayah in the Quran where it says that the gospel is corrupted. Show us that ayah. Why are you making that claim, but you cannot back it up? Show yeah, us, blah, 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 blah. Give us, don't give me blah, blah, blah. Protects us against that approach. Because what happens, you get doctrines like the divinity of Jesus Christ. You get the Give me the ayah. Adnan Rashid, give me the ayah. erroneous ideas imposed on the scripture by people who had no connection to the Jewish milieu of Jesus Christ. Blah, blah, now, blah. Okay. to David's question, what is he talking about when he says Muslims cannot answer this question? And if they did, I will accept Islam. Okay, show question? me, when show me. When we claim that the Bible teaches something, they demand an unequivocal statement. No, we do not demand an unequivocal statement for every single thing Christians believe in. That's a misrepresentation of our views. We demand Liar. unequivocal statements in the Bible for your core beliefs, for beliefs you hold. And these beliefs are your core beliefs, such as the divinity of Jesus Christ, that Jesus is God, such as the doctrine of the Trinity, such as the inerrancy of the Bible. And there is a list of these core beliefs Christian hold today that cannot be substantiated from the Bible directly. There is no unequivocal statement in the Bible that substantiates liar. the doctrine of the Trinity. Not one. You liar. What is the doctrine of the Trinity? The doctrine of the Trinity essentially means that three persons within the Trinity are co-equal. The Father, 
the sun and the spirit are all three equal they are all three equal they are equal in okay status. give us the ayah give us the ayah importance give us the ayah this is what the doctrine of the trinity constitutes you see guys Bye. he he created a video that is exactly 19 minutes and 50 seconds let me give you the link guys nowhere is he providing us an ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted let us continue Necessity. let's see Where when he finishes his rent stated in the bible you will okay go ahead give us the ayah and then reinterpret uh the reinterpretation again in order to get to not that doctrine verse. it okay. is not in the bible this is a core doctrine the christians hold so we are we are in our right to ask for an un unequivocal statement just like you would ask us for a statement to substanti substantiate one of our core beliefs Tawheed, for example, oneness yeah. of God, the prophethood of uh, the prophethood of Muhammad. Okay, show us the word Tawheed in the Quran. Show us the word Tawheed in the Quran. You are claiming, you are claiming that you, we Christians cannot show you the Trinity in the Holy Bible. Can you show us the word uh, Tawheed in the Quran? Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that the Quran is definitely revealed by God. These are core doctrines of. Yeah, the core do doctrine, Tawheed, the <laughs> unification, nowhere can we find it in the Quran. So your own words can now be used against you in the court of law, Mr. Adnan Rashid. <laughs> you see, guys, he just said he's talking about, it, about the word Tawheed, but nowhere can we find the word Tawheed in the Quran. So the irony is on you. Of the Muslims ask us to substantiate these doctrines from the Quran. The Quran says that it came from God. Quran tells us that Muhammad is a prophet of God, he's the messenger of God. The Quran tells us God is one, Allah is one. Okay? No, these it doesn't say that. It says Allahu Ahad. So likewise, we ask Allah is for, one of. Uh, we ask for unequivocal statements uh, about your core doctrines. What's wrong with that? The statement must be unequivocal, unambiguous not open to interpretation, leaving <laughs> exactly. no room for doubt. Why? Because Muslim leaders are professional reinterpreters. They do it with the words of their own God, their own book, exactly. their own prophet. Why well done, David. do well the done. same with our God, our book, our Lord? Exactly. Because the demand is give us unequivocal statements in the okay. Bible. Okay, okay, give us in the Quran where Allah is saying, I am one worship me where does it say that where does jesus say in the quran i am a prophet do not worship me where does it say that in the quran where does it say in the quran the gospel is corrupted in these words we are using your own mental gymnastics against you in the court of law where does the quran say the gospel is corrupted in those words support your core doctrines not doctrines Idiot. that are not very important not doctrines that are side doctrines. We are talking about core, central doctrines of Christianity. Things you have come to believe in for centuries. For over 1,700 years, Christians have believed in the doctrine of the Trinity. Where is it? Where is the co-equality of the three persons? Specifically, co-equality of the blah, three blah, persons blah. Give us in the, yalla, yalla, the New Testament. Yalla, yalla. Nowhere. But now that Muslims have presented their standard and unequivocal statement, it would be a shame if we didn't apply the same standard to them. It would be a shame if we didn't demand consistency. You see, now David so Wood is going to play the, their own games against them. Let's He's going to use their own games against them. Statements. We'll start with an easy one. Muslims, where does Allah declare unequivocally in the Quran that the text of the gospel has been corrupted? Did you catch Give it? David Wood is challenging the Muslims since they are playing those mental gymnastics. Show us where the Quran says that the gospel is corrupted in those words. It's one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the text of the Injil, the gospel, has been corrupted. Show us. Just one. Just one. If you can give us Not ten, one, one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the text of the gospel has been corrupted, Again, I will record myself bowing down and reciting the Shahada. Oh. Did you catch it? What did uh, David Wood, guys, for the people who did not catch it, has been corrupted. Listen, listen carefully Just what David one. Wood is saying. If you can give us 
one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the text of the gospel has been corrupted, again, I will record myself bowing down and reciting the Shahada. Oh. Did you catch it? David Wood made a huge challenge. If you can show us one ayah in the Quran where it clearly says in the Quran, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, that the gospel is corrupted, he will bow down and take his shahada. And I made that same challenge. Muslims, if you are listening, if you can show me one ayah in the Quran where it says that the gospel is corrupted in those words, I will bow down together with David Wood and I will take my shahada too. That's the challenge guys. You see the guy made a rant for 9 minutes, 9 minutes and 25 seconds, right? Still now, he did not provide an ayah where it says it. Let, let us continue. Okay, I will bow down, record myself making the shahada. Amazing. It yeah. is clear now that David Wood does not want Let's see to is he is going to, though it is true. As if I he's going to, to show earlier, us, let us see. That we are asking for unequivocal statements to support your core doctrines, like the doctrine of the Trinity, that Jesus is God, that the Bible is in Show errant. us the ayah it so that not, David Wood and myself you know, will take the shahada. Example, you have Show to prove me. that. You have sure. to prove that. So this is what we are asking for. And likewise, you can ask us to support our core doctrines from the Quran, such as the Tawheed. If a Muslim does not believe in oneness of God, he or she cannot be a Muslim. If we do not believe that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a prophet of God, he or she cannot be blah, a Muslim. Blah, blah, show me or the ayah. Muslim, show example, me the ayah. Believes that the Quran is corrupt, he or she cannot be a Muslim. These are core doctrines of the Quran. And we can support blah, blah. these doctrines. Blah, blah. Give us the ayah, what we are asking for. The Quran. We do not have to produce unequivocal statements for things that are not our core doctrines. So it is very unfair wow, and is... very, very inconsistent. And what is David trying to do here? What David, to do David is, is trying... crystal clear. Give us an ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted so we can bow down and take our shahada. I will take the shahada together with Mr. David Wood, Dr. David Wood, I will take my shahada with him too, bow down and take the shahada. If you can give us one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted. Go ahead, Mr. Adan Rashid, give me that. From a very important matter. The matter is again, blah, blah, blah. we want unequivocal statements from the Bible to support. Bible has nothing to do with this. Show me the ayah. The doctrine of the divinity of Jesus Christ. Is he God? Where does the Bible oh. say that? Where did Jesus say that? What we do have to the contrary, statements unequivocal statements where Jesus says that he is not God. For example, the Father is greater than I. Therefore, the Father is not equal. Show me the ayah. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. You, have, you don't have to and explain the, verse, the origin, Bible to me. The Bible Father has nothing to do with this. Used to Quran, argue that Jesus is a subordinate to the uh, Father. Jesus is lower to the Father because of this verse. Right? So early Christian church fathers were arguing in this way. And he was later on called a subordinationist for that belief. Okay. Answer now, the question now. Another statement Jesus made unequivocally where he said that he is not God. He said, why? Show me the ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted no in the Quran. God. Here Jesus is simply telling you that I, he is not God. Adnan, Adnan, Adnan. Adnan, Mr. David Wood, Mr. Dr. David Wood challenged all the Muslims. Show us one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted. We are still waiting. I mean, I, I, I cannot wait to take my shahada, man. I'm waiting. Show me so I can take my shahada and I can close my YouTube channel and stop attacking Islam and the prophet, fake prophet of Islam. Good challenge, right? Fair challenge. He's simply not God. This is unequivocal. Uh. This is very, very straight. In another verse, John chapter 17 verse 3. You see guys, I don't want to, you know, play with the video God. so that Muslim will say, uh, you are so editing the video, right? I'm, I'm allowing him to talk. Augustine in, I'm playing the whole video. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the fourth or fifth century when he was writing his homilies, in his commentaries uh, called his homilies, blah, he blah, actually gave changed us the, the words of this particular verse. He changed the words of this particular verse in his commentary because this particular yes, verse, Suzanne John 17, 
This guy, this Adnan very, Rashid, is wasting my time. For the Trinitarian Church Fathers. So this is what we mean by unequivocal statement where Jesus claimed... You idiot! You idiot! The Church Fathers that you are talking about, they all believed that Jesus is God, equal with the Father. What are you talking about? <laughs> what an idiot! Denies his divinity you liar! Shame on you! This is why we ask as to where are these statements. So we are very, very fair and just in asking for those statements. Yeah. Now, coming to the question, David. Ah, asked. finally, so finally. Why is he asking for this statement? Pay attention, because guys. Because he knows the New Testament is corrupt and the Quran does teach. That guys, what did, what did he say? Let me go a little bit back. Knows the New Testament is corrupt. The New and Testament the is corrupt? does teach that the New Testament is corrupt. Okay, and so he said it, guys, you heard it. The Quran, the Quran, according to him, the Quran does teach that the gospel, the Injil is corrupt. Okay, let us see if he's going to give us the ayah. I'll give you one short example very quickly. Okay, I quickly. don't want to go on for too long. Yeah, you are doing it for too long. Chapter 4, verse 157 categorically states that Jesus was definitely, definitely not. What, what, what? Chapter 4, guys, chapter 4. Pay attention, chapter 4, this is chapter 4, ayah 157. All right, let us, let us see what... Chapter 4, 157 says. Killed. He was not crucified. He was not killed. Gospels state that he was crucified and he was killed. In other words, the Quran is indirectly saying that the Gospels are corrupt. This statement is not unequivocal. It is not saying the New Testament is corrupt. But Where does the ayah uh, say that? And he was killed. In other words, the Quran... Where does it killed. say that in the ayah? Let us read the ayah. Guys, it's in front of you, right? And for their saying... For they're saying, who? The Jews. The Jews are saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but it appeared to them so. So here, guys, if you read it, if you read it as it is, I'm not adding my words, right? I'm not adding my own words. And for they're saying, who? The Jews, right? The Jews, when we ask Muslims, who are those the ones who are saying this? Those are the Jews, the Muslims will tell us, right? Let me show you, if we go to Tafsir Ibn Kathir, this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir, right? We killed Al-Masih, Isa, son of Mary, Maryam, the Messenger of Allah, meaning we, who are the we, killed the person who claimed to be the Messenger of Allah, the Jews. Do you see it? So the Jews are making those claims. The Jews, do you see it? The Jews. So those are the Jews who are making that claim, right? So this is the same chapter, guys, chapter 4, ayah 157. Do you see it? Surah An nisa ayah 157. This is the ayah that he's talking about, right? And they're saying, the Jews, as we, sh as we showed you from Tafsir ibn Kathir, surely we have killed the Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam the apostle of Allah, but it says, if we continue reading, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. So these are the Jews who are making that claim, right? They are making the claim, surely we have killed the Messiah. Here comes the disaster, the number one disaster. There is no Jew in the whole history of Jews who will make the claim, surely we have killed the Messiah. How, 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 are, how can the Jews say that? How can the Jews say we killed the Messiah while they are still waiting for their Messiah to come? Huh? Uh -huh. How can the Jews say, surely we have killed the Messiah while the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah for the first time to come? You see, Muhammad lied about the Jews. Jews never ever said we killed the Messiah. Never ever in the history of all Jews, did they say, and I quote, right? Because they are the ones speaking, right? The Jews, surely we have killed the Messiah. Never, ever in the whole history of Jews. Yes, the Jews wanted Jesus Christ dead. They wanted him to die. They wanted to kill him. Yes, but the Jews never, ever said, surely we have killed the Messiah. How can they make that statement? Muslims, think, think. Think here and, and, and prove to yourself, this is actually crystal clear proof that Muhammad lied about the Jews because the Jews never made this claim about their Messiah. 
So we, Muhammad got busted. You, Adnan Rashid, got busted. So this is actually attacking the Jews because the Jews are claiming they killed the Messiah, right? Right, it says they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ Right, but it appeared to them. وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَا لَهُمْ Right, it appeared to them. So the Jews did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. That's true. The Jews, guys, the Jews never killed Jesus. Those were the Romans. Only the Romans had the authority. It was the Romans' punishment system to put people on the cross and so they can die. It was a Roman punishment system. Only the Romans did that, not the Jews. So here, the Quran actually does not attack what the gospel is saying. It's only attacking and refuting the Jews. So here, this ayah actually does not say that Jesus did not die on the cross. No, no. It actually is refuting the Jews who are claiming that they killed the Jew, uh, that they killed the Messiah. So, guys, are you, are you understanding what is happening here? Here, this ayah is not refuting; it's not contradicting the fact that Jesus actually died on the cross at the hands of the Romans. It's only refuting what the Jews are saying. Did you catch it? Mr. Adnan Rashid, you're a donkey. You don't even know your own Quran. And the proof is in front of you. You, Mr. Adnan Rashid, and all you Muslims cannot read and understand. Some people are telling me that CP is life. Yeah, we will wrap this very, very quickly, okay, guys? Because out of respect and love for my brother, dear brother, Christian Prince, I don't want to become a uh, stumbling block, right? I don't want to be live, and as you know guys, we went live before Christian Prince, but we will not take long. I just want to show you how this liar, this deceiver, Adnan Rashid, he is lying about his own Quran, right? Nowhere does it say that in the ayah that the gospel is corrupted, because that was the challenge. Mr. David would challenge you to show us one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted, till now, nowhere does, even this ayah does not say that the gospel is corrupted, right? So he has to interpret it falsely. Nowhere does it say that, that Jesus did not die on the cross. It's only attacking what the Jews are saying. But the Romans actually did kill Jesus on the cross. He was not crucified. He was not Yes, killed. he was. Gospels state at the hands of the Romans, not the Jews. Killed. In other words, the Quran is indirectly saying that the Gospels are corrupt. This statement. So guys, didn't you hear? Earlier, didn't Adnan Rashid earlier said, didn't he earlier said, we do not interpret the Quran? You are adding words into the Quran in all the words. Like, look what he's saying. Quran is indirectly saying that the Gospels state that he was crucified. Right? Let me, let me show killed. you what he's saying. In other words, the Quran in other words, is indirectly saying that the Gospels. So are you're interpreting. Moments ago, moments ago, you said we do not interpret the Quran. The Prophet and the Sahaba can only interpret the Quran. But you are doing interpretation. You are adding what the, the ayahs are not saying. Show us one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted. Show us. Why are you giving me an ayah that is talking about the crucifixion? Where the Jews are claiming they crucified and killed Jesus. Show us the ayah, my friend. All right. Are corrupt. This statement is not unequivocal. It show me the ayah. The you cannot corrupt, show. But the outcome is that that the New Testament is corrupt, and the Quran. The out. The outcome. Okay, give us the ayah. Nowhere does the Quran say that, guys. So he needs to tap dance, giving us a false ayah where it does not say. Where it clearly does not say that Jesus did not die on the cross, that, <laughs> right? It does not say that he's not crucified. It's only saying that the Jews did not kill him and crucified. That's true. They did not. I have to agree with the Quran here, right? The Quran is clearly attacking the Jews. The Jews never killed and crucified Jesus. Those were the Romans. 
And this guy is giving his own interpretation, his own tafsir for the Quran. Still, he did not give us an ayah where it says the gospel is corrupted. And by this, we spank this liar, this liar adding words to his Quran that are not there. He is not providing an ayah so we can take our shahada, bow down and take the shahada and become Muslims. As long you cannot show us an ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted, we will stay Christians, Muslims. Mr. Adnan Rashid, you have been spanked, you have been refuted and served for everybody to see. And as long you cannot show us an ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted, you have to give your own words, add your own words to the Quran, we will continue and keep destroying your cult, we'll keep continue refute your fake prophet in the court of law. Guys, since CP is live, I don't want to stay much longer. I want to ask you to subscribe, smash that like button, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you can download our video, share it around on all social media. Help me to help you and show everybody how Muslim apologists like Adnan Rashid are nothing but lies and deceivers. Our challenge still stands strong. Muslims, show us one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted. We are waiting. Thank you for watching guys and God bless.